Hey everybody, I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Opinion. Today on The Real Opinion, we're going to be talking about two different movies. One is about what it means to quote-unquote take up the cross. The other is about arguably the greatest movie critic of all time. Here are a couple of quick movie reviews for two films that you may want to consider or maybe not consider checking out. First up is Do You Believe? There have been many of these faith-based movies that have been coming out in the last couple of years. Like most of them, this one already has its targeted audience in mind. I will say that for its targeted audience, this is one of the better ones. While I did feel that it could have followed less people, all in all the story worked pretty well. Some of the stories worked better than others, but I felt in the end they were all necessary to complete the story. Now a lot of the characters felt pretty cliche, and some even incomplete, but together they kind of worked. Some might scoff or laugh at some of the things that happened in this movie, but for those that it is intended for, this is a pretty good story. I'll admit, I found myself welling up at times. This one aims for the heart, and if you let it, it will hit it. Next up is Life Itself. The first time I saw this film was at last year's Eberfest. After watching it again on Netflix, my opinion on this movie has not changed. This is still a beautiful and uncompromising look at the life of one of the greatest film critics ever. Whether you agreed with him or not, and a lot of the time I didn't, he is still one of the greatest movie minds to ever have existed. This movie takes a look at the good and the bad as well as the happy and the sad times of Roger's life. We follow Roger and his family's time near the end of his life as well as get to take a journey through his upbringing in Urbana to his career in Chicago. Though I enjoyed the entire film, I think the best parts for me were when the story was about Ebert's time with Gene Siskel, mainly because I grew up watching that show. The film covers enough emotions to tell a complete story. If you have any appreciation for film, this is one to check out. Now, I normally don't give movies official ratings, but for this one, I'll make an exception. I give it two big thumbs up. But remember, it's only just one guy's opinion. I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Opinion. Until next time.